Hey there folks, welcome to my channel. My name is Apocalypse GU and this will be my uh, intro to Hash Rush mini series, hoping to give you guys a little bit of insight and guidance on uh, you know a little bit of the basics of Hash Rush, how to get set up, how to play the game. If you're new to Hash Rush or you're new to RTSs, especially if you're new to RTS, uh, the new RTS genre, um, then this is the series for you. Uh, so let's dig in. To start out, I'm going to show you guys how to actually get the game client and get that uh, all set up and working. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to Vorto Network and uh, look for the login. The other way that you can get to this is actually by, if you go to Hashrush um, and click the play button, which I will show you guys shortly, uh, play. This will also take you to the correct link if you're not, if you don't trust everything that you do on Google uh, or everything that, uh, you know, is on Google results wise, then that's the great way to, great way to get to it. Uh, if you don't have an account, go ahead and create an account. Uh, otherwise, you can just uh, log in here, and I will show you guys where to go from there. The alternative is if you're a part of the Hashrush Discord, which if you're not, I highly recommend joining. Um, you can also click the Event Details button right here, and you'll see the part of the link right here. And this will actually uh, give us the duration of the playtest, the fact that it's the open playtest, and it'll also give you a download link for uh, from Google Drive. So let's uh, go ahead and log in and take a look at that way. Uh, otherwise, you can just click this link right here, and that should be a, the uh, link to the updated client as well. So once you're logged in, you'll see this nice banner right here. Uh, unfortunately, the playtest is currently only available for Windows, but uh, we're, we should see other versions of the game, uh, hopefully in later playtests. So all you're going to need to do, click the Windows download icon, uh, which will take you to Google Drive, which is fine. And we're going to go ahead and download the game client. And we can't scan it. That's fine. Uh, you want the 646 megabit version, that's the, the Playtest 2, that's the Playtest 1 uh, client number 2, which is the latest at the moment of this video. Go ahead and download, and as you can see I've downloaded a couple times, uh, and this will take a little bit. Uh, so I'll, I'll actually throw the, the download link as well in the description, but if you don't click random download links from YouTube, commercial, uh, YouTube uh, videos, which is totally legit, um, just follow these steps and you should be able to get it anyways. Actually, on second thought, I, I won't actually put the download link in there. Um, just get it from the official Discord or the official Warter Network uh, download link. I think that's probably the best for everybody. Um, all right, so once the download's complete, we'll go ahead and take a look at it in the folder, which will look something like this. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to download a uh, program, something like um, WinZip or uh, WinRAR or anything that is able to unpack RAR files. And oh, it looks like this actually might be zipped, so you might just be able to uh, extract it regular. Um, but in any case, go ahead and hit extract. Uh, I believe I am using uh, WinRAR, but I will double check for it in a second. Uh, this doesn't really matter a ton. Go ahead and hit OK and start the extraction. And in the meantime, I'll figure out what I'm actually using here for you guys. Yeah, I'm using WinRAR at the moment, which is a very helpful tool to have on your computer regardless. Um, it's very well uh, regarded. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to finish. All right, once that's all done, you can go ahead and go to the folder wherever you uh, place it, uh, which should be this one right here. This is the correct date. And you, you can just go ahead and move this out, actually. Um, you don't actually have to do this, but for the sake of clarity. And then after that, uh, all you're going to want to do here is find this Hashrush 2022 application type and go ahead and just double click that. And this is the game client. And it looks like they've actually updated this, which is fantastic. This is the other thing I wanted to touch on. But basically, all you want to do here is that Vorto Network account that you either logged in with earlier or that you created earlier. You'll enter the email here and the password here, and then you'll be good to go. All right, so real quick, just an explanation of the menu. Obviously, quit is quit. Uh, play will be where you want to go to start games. The inventory will contain uh, a couple of different things. Uh, these are the heroes that I currently own. Uh, Sarnak is currently craftable, which I highly recommend you take a look at one of my other videos and uh, do your best to try and craft that because this is an NFT hero that you will ge be able to keep and persist uh, past the playtest. Uh, so it's in your best interest to uh, grab this if you can uh, because it's uh, going to be beneficial for you in other future playtests. Uh, so these are the heroes. Uh, crafting, this is the various um, things that you can craft after collecting uh, different things from the game by playing each by playing games. Uh, these are the equipment that you currently have that you can equip to your heroes to modify their stats. Uh, you get some random equipment at the end of every match by defeating the various uh, enemy camps in the game. 
and you can also craft these as well. And then these are the materials that you have, which are also earned depending on the map that you complete successfully. And the play menu, uh, there's currently three maps available on one planet, uh, Forest 1, 2, 3, the difficulty is set to easy, and the materials that you can get uh, from each map are listed here. And then you go to the select a hero, and you can either hit the select here, or you can just double click and that'll select the hero. You can take a maximum of three heroes into the match. And after that, start the match and wait for the game to load, and then you're good to go. Uh, all right, and hopefully that was a helpful explanation. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me a uh, tweet on Twitter. My at is the apocalypse GU. And uh, stay tuned for the next video in the series, which will touch on the RTS basics, how to manage your economy. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.